Hello, Gemini. It's my lady from Ladies Way Terry. I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 23rd through the 30th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. I wanted to think, I mean, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings. If you'd like one, check in the description box below. Email me, we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Gemini? Gemini love reading. Gemini love reading. October 23rd through the 30th, 2017. All right, so somebody has burdens lifted off this week. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so your burden is lift off if somebody doesn't want you. So maybe this could be somebody that was pestering you and finally they got the hint to uh, leave you alone. Okay, let's keep going. Wow, everybody is dealing with people invading their personal spy space. So I'm feeling like here that somebody weight is lifted because somebody don't want them anymore. Or somebody just like giving them like some room to breathe because they was violating their personal space. Like basically a get off my back thing. I feel like somebody really cared about somebody. But there was just too much in there, you know? Like somebody cared about you, but they was violating your personal space. <laughs> but for general reading, it can go either way, okay? So it's basically like, oh, it's saying keep going. And I understand that because uh, the reality is no matter how much per this person care about you, if they're um, being like this now, they probably stop for a second, but they're going to start right back up. They're not going to just... Like, stop their way of living, you know? Okay, yeah, so it seems like the person you're dealing with has a lot of baggage. And this probably came from previous relationships. Yeah, wow. But they do care about you, but they're smothering you right now. Like, I feel like, ah, you know? <laughs> like, get off my neck, you know? All right, so, wow, yeah, here it is again. This person does it, then they don't do it. They do it, then they don't do it. And it's just on and off. And I feel like you going into a place with, like, a Stockholm Syndrome kind of area where you like, oh, yeah, this person is good, you know, because they on their off time. But then here they come with this crazy, I'm in your phone, I'm following you around stuff again. Okay? And it seems like this is a, a give-and-take relationship. It's just... You may be dealing with somebody bipolar. Yeah. Yep. It's just like, can you take it? That's it. All right. All right. What's going on with the Gemini? Gemini. Just or some kind of mental disorder, maybe a hormonal dis uh, imbalance. But there's something big time going wrong with this person. I feel like the I feel like the person can't control these actions. They can't control that they want to be all up on you and inside everything. You know, I feel like they do it and then like they be like, oh, my God, you know, and they got to make themselves not like you to get away from this feeling. But I feel like they realize like in a few days, like I really do love them and then do it again. Maybe a week, month, two weeks, something like that. All right, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. I love reading. Ten. 23 through 30, 2017. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Yeah, it seems like somebody's planning something. Planning some kind of new beginning. Oh. I mean, if you can't take it, you can't take it. Mm. Okay, this could indicate new beginnings and could also indicate pregnancies. All right. So, seems like some of you may be trying to, like, conceive, but I feel like it has a lot to do with money. 
Okay. Or start a new thing for money. Yeah, it seemed like. Wow. Okay, so to me this looks like you and your partner may be turning your backs on each other and going separate ways. Or it could be you guys maybe spending your money on new people or maybe you guys have a baby but this like turns you guys against each other. Like, I don't want to spend my money on that. I want to spend my money on this. I don't want to do that. I want to do this, you know? Sheesh. So, manipulation going on here. Or some kind of addiction. Okay, so now thinking back to the... I felt like it was bipolar or some kind of uh, disorder. It now, now, looking at the devil card, it could also be some kind of addiction. I feel like somebody's spending their money outside of the household and maybe spending their money on an addiction and that's why it's like when they don't have the money they trip out and the other person like you know give me some money and I'm like I'm not giving you any money right now but it's crazy because the relationship is a give and take relationship like even with the addictions but I feel like right now this is that get away keep going this is like run you know so this could be like, you go get a new beginning, go start somewhere else. Or it could mean that a child is keeping you guys together, but an addiction is keeping you guys apart, okay? All right, so let's read this straight out the book. All right, so we have the Empress card. Empress says... A time that you may doubt yourself or circumstances. However, new and exciting times are approaching. A time of love, sensuality, pregnancy might be indicated. Okay? Alright, so we got the King of Coins. King of Coins, King of Coins, and the Queen of Coins. So the King of Coins is re or Queen of Coins is reversed. It says, prisoner to all material things and events. This is the King. Um, sneaky, premeditated, fictitious, and selfish. Yeah, I feel like this is when the person wants to go get those drugs. They just be like, or whatever, going through their phases. They just be like, everything's mine. You know, I deserve it. All right, so then the queen. The queen says, secretive, false compliments, mean-spirited, and judgmental. Yeah, I feel like this is the place where, you know, they trying to get money from the queen and she like no i don't have any money don't get or you know it could be either way around it don't matter female male 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 female female whatever but it's like one person is like give me everything and the other one's like i don't have nothing you know but they lying and they being real mean because this addiction like i know you're just gonna take this money and go spend it on drugs you know or like you know i'm really feeling drugs right here but, okay, let's do the devil card. Devil, devil, devil. Negative feelings, trying to take revenge, ill-conceived approach. So, this makes me feel like the queen is like, no, I don't have it. And that's when she's being mean and stuff. And I think the king is just like, you know, when you don't give it to me, then I'm mean. I'm like, just go crazy. Yeah, I feel like they just go nuts. I feel like in some cases they may even like physically harm, you know? Okay, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a person to read and check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a great week.